Hello and welcome back to another episode here on Cap Tech. First video of 2022, we are going to cover the travel-related disasters that major sports teams have fallen victim to thus far, and how the various professional sports leagues of the world are prepared to act in response to the next such disaster. There have been some very close calls, such as in 1960, when a plane carrying the then Minneapolis Lakers made an emergency landing in an Iowa cornfield. So now let's look deeper at the major travel disasters that have occurred to our sports teams thus far. The 1949 Torino Football Club had only one survivor following their plane crash. Two teams in the Canadian Football League lost players returning from an all-star game in the 1956 crash of Trans-Canada Airlines Flight 810. In incidents since then, the 1958 Manchester United football team was aboard flight 609, which crashed on its third attempt to take off from a slush-covered runway at Munich. The aircraft was carrying the football team along with supporters and journalists. There were 44 people on board, 20 of whom died at the scene. The injured, some unconscious, were then taken to a hospital in Munich where three more died, resulting in a total of 23 fatalities with 21 survivors. In 1960, the Cal Polytechnic football team was involved in a plane crash that occurred near Toledo, Ohio. The aircraft, a veteran of World War II, was carrying 48 on board. 22 were killed, including both pilots 16 players, a student manager, and a Cal Poly football booster. The U.S. figure skating team lost their lives, as well as 16 other people who were accompanying them, including family members, professional coaches, and skating officials. The 1970 Wichita State University football team was involved in a crash that took place despite clear and calm weather in Colorado in 1970 when a chartered Martin 404 airliner crashed eight miles west of, ironically named, Silver Plume. The plane carried 37 were killed at the scene and two later died of their injuries. Also in 1970, the Marshall University football team had their plane crash. The plane was carrying 37 members of the Thundering Herd football team, eight members of the coaching staff, and 25 boosters, two pilots, two flight attendants, and a charter coordinator. This event was the subject of a Matthew McConaughey film entitled We Are Marshall. The 1977 University of Evansville basketball team was almost entirely killed when Air Indiana Flight 216 crashed at Evansville Regional Airport in Evansville, Indiana. The aircraft lost control and crashed shortly after liftoff. The only member of the Purple Aces who did not die in the crash was 18-year-old freshman David Furr. He was out for the season with an ankle injury and thus was not on the plane that day. But just two weeks after the crash, Furr and his younger brother Byron were killed in a car accident near Newton, Illinois, thus leaving the entire 1970s seven Evansville team dead. If you find this macabre bit of knowledge particularly interesting, I'd recommend that you watch a series of movies entitled Final Destination. On the 14th of March, 1980, as the crew aborted a landing and attempted to go around, all 87 crew and passengers died, including a total of 22 U.S. boxers in Warsaw, Poland. A number of Olympic team members were not present due to the various injuries sustained before the flight, or for other reasons, which prevented their participation in the scheduled event, so they stayed at home in the United States. The 1993 Zambia national football team, or football, met their demise on the evening of the 27th of April, 1993, when a DHC-5 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean, 
Shortly after taking off, the flight was carrying most of the Zambian national football team to a 1994 FIFA World Cup qualifier against Senegal in Dakar. All 25 passengers and five crew members were killed. All players from the main roster of the 2011 Lokomotiv Yaroslavl Russian professional hockey team and four of their youth team died in a crash of Yak Service Flight 9633. Ironically, the only survivor of this crash was the aircraft's mechanic. In 2016, the Associação Champacons de Futebol Team Brazil, of which I have undoubtedly botched the pronunciation horribly, met with their demise when La Mia Flight 2933 crashed near Medellin, Colombia, killing 71 of the 77 souls on board. Only one of the four crew members, three of the players, and two other passengers survived. About to comment that air travel is still the safest method, let us not forget about the 2018 Humboldt Broncos ice hockey team, which was involved in a bus crash where 16 people were killed and 13 were injured when a northbound coach bus struck a westbound semi-truck trailer near Armley, Saskatchewan, Canada. Now, let us examine how the various major sports leagues plan to respond when and if something similar should happen again, but to one of their own teams. A disaster draft or contingency draft is a disaster recovery plan developed by pro sports leagues to rebuild a team's roster if many players are disabled or killed. Major League Baseball, who this would be most likely to happen to from a sheer number of games perspective, has instituted an emergency draft protocol as follows. MLB's disaster plan is covered in Rule 29 of the official professional baseball rules book. This plan would be triggered by an event causing the death, dismemberment, or permanent disability of at least five players from a team's active, injured, or suspended roster during a season, including the playoffs, or at least six players during the offseason. Major League Baseball's commissioner would then decide if the disabled club could continue to play in consultation with the MLB Players Association and the ball club. If the commissioner decides that the disabled club will continue to play, the commissioner may hold a restocking draft to allow the disabled club to select as many players as it lost, with the restriction that no more than one player can be selected from each of the other teams. Each of the non-disabled teams makes five players available for the draft, taken from its active list, or if during the offseason from its reserve list, composed of one pitcher, one catcher, one outfielder, one infielder, and one more player of any position, subject to adjustments by the commissioner based on the players lost by the disabled club. If a team has fewer than three eligible catchers, it does not have to provide a catcher to the draft. Other major sports have similar procedures in place as well. The NBA contingency plan activates if five or more players on a team die or are dismembered. A special disaster draft would be held in which other NBA teams could only protect five players so that quality six man would be available for the draft. No more than one player could be drafted from any single team. The NFL's contingency plan provides for both a near disaster and disaster. A near disaster is defined as fewer than 15 players on a team being disabled, and a disaster is 15 or more. No special draft would be held for a near disaster. The team would instead get preferential rights on any waivers until the end of the season. But in the NFL, not all players are created equal, and hence if a quarterback is among the fewer than 15 lost, the team would be able to draft up to two quarterbacks from all NFL teams 
teams with three available. Each team would be able to protect two, and the drafted quarterbacks would return to their original teams in the following season. For a disaster, the commissioner would determine whether to cancel the team's schedule for the season. If the team's season is canceled, the team would have the first pick in the next regular draft. A special draft would also be held in which each team would be able to protect 32 players. If not canceled, the near disaster procedures would be used. The NHL contingency plan activates if five or more players on a team are killed or disabled. The team would select players from other NHL teams paying with funds from a special insurance fund. Once its roster has had one goaltender and 14 other players, a special draft involving the teams unaffected by the earlier selection could be held, with each team able to protect one goaltender and 10 other players. Major League Soccer, for both of you out there that care about this, within its roster regulations has what it calls an extreme hardship provision, which can be used if a team has less than 15 available players. However, this is a mechanism intended to be used on a game-by-game -game basis, and any contingency plans that may exist for a disaster draft scenario are not public. Of the four major American sports leagues, no team travels more than the Portland Trail Blazers, credit this fact to ESPN, you initially might think that Major League Baseball would have the most, but this NBA team beat out the Major League Baseball teams, even though Major League Baseball plays more games, because baseball plays a few games at a time in the same city, in what's called a series, when they go on the road. So good luck to you, Portland Trail Blazers. Statistically, I would be nervous. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to like, share, and comment upon it. And please remember to subscribe to CapTech. Virtual tip jar linked in the description below. Gladly accept bribes in exchange for making videos on future topics selected by you.